right. Matt Bell is in the house, and uh, every year he uh, coordinates a big Fourth of July event through the CTPC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell us about it. What's what's the what's what's, what's on it going to happen? Yeah. Well, we uh, you know we took over the fireworks show two years ago, and uh, this will be our third year to Who'd host you take it. it from? Uh, the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. Um, uh, it wasn't you know uh, it was more of a um, handing off maybe. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Passing the torch. Um, so we expressed interest. They granted us permission to take it over, and we went to a twenty thousand dollar fireworks show. Uh, we've done that for two years. This year, we're going to increase the show to twenty-five wow. thousand, mm. um, and that's just based. It was off a good of, show last year. Yeah. Oh man. And and uh, we're hopeful that eventually it'll be a hundred thousand dollars. And and what we just you know we we base that on sponsors. Um, every year, we've been able mm -hmm. to get more and more sponsors, mm -hmm. and a hundred percent of what we get. Uh, we put back into the fireworks show. Yeah. We're not doing it as a fundraiser. You blow effort. everything up. You blow every dollar. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. It's about, what, 20, 25 minutes of $20,000. It's it's wow. incredible. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but if you've been down to the soccer <laughs> complex for the past couple of years, you realize, wow, you know, this yeah. is legit. This is yeah. the real deal. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's cool. Cool. Yeah. Now, what's what's going to happen? Is there anything, other activities or just, just uh, that event? Well, or? you know, uh, Bear State Bank. Mm -hmm. um, Formerly known as First Federal, they mm -hmm. have their their uh, turtle races on the square, right. and so they'll do that again. Um, is my understanding. McDonald's will have their children's parade, parade with yeah. bicycles, mm -hmm. and that and starts bicycles. in the, that's in the morning, right? Yeah, that's in the morning at the square. Yeah, um, and then the um, uh, Daughters of the American Revolution, the mm -hmm. DAR folks, yeah. will be doing their thing on the square as well. Mm -hmm. Um, about that same time, you know, morning to early after or uh -huh. early before noon. Yeah, and then. You know, it's kind of everybody go home, be with your family, mm -hmm. hang mm -hmm. out. And then it's about 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, start making your way for the soccer complex. We'll have some music down there. Um, still debating on whether we want to do live bands or just, uh, you know, some, some general patriotic music. But, um, you know, we'll have a couple of food vendors on mm -hmm. site and, uh, you know, probably going to be selling glow sticks and armbands and just have fun, run around the soccer complex with let your kids burn some energy before yeah. the fireworks show yeah. and then at you know roughly eight o'clock we'll have the local boy scout troops will post the colors for us mm -hmm. and uh one of their boy scout members will be doing some trumpet music so that we're mm -hmm. excited about that and then kaboom about nine yeah. thirty ish kaboom kaboom <laughs> Now, do you sell uh, spots or sponsors? Or uh, no, yeah, what we do, we, we, we have time. we have a sponsor seating area, yeah. and that's designed for um, individuals that either work for an organization that sponsored it, or you know, like uh, uh, one hundred two nine the Z. You know, they give them to listeners. Um, mm -hmm. You know, they call mm -hmm. into the radio station and say, "Hey, uh, we love country music." Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but yeah, it's sponsor <laughs> seating. Now, the cool thing is you don't have to sit in sponsor seating to see an awesome show. If you're at the soccer complex, you're going to see an awesome right. show. Yeah. So. And then the hills surrounding the area, I think the Christian church, is the, that's First crowded. Christian, and, First Baptist. Yeah. And then over the the, the yeah. old... You get a good um, view from all that. Batting cages, I bet mm -hmm. there's people sitting up there at yeah. the first... first uh, nice yeah, for first about a, a mile around, there's not a green Baptist grass, right. a blade of green grass without yeah. a blanket or a lawn chair <laughs> over right. the top of it, So, good. which we like that. Is, is there anything you want uh, our viewers to know? Do you want to... Is there... Do you, are you looking for funds for next year? Yeah, uh, um, well, we're currently still fundraising for 2015. Like I said, our goal is 25000 mm -hmm. uh, We've already got a contract and already paid for half of that, so we're Good. just kind of crossing our fingers Good. at this Good. moment. Uh, but, yeah, just call our office if you want to be a supporter. It's 741-1789, um, or uh, you can email me at mbell at harrisonarkansas.org mm -hmm. if you want more information. Several sponsorship levels available from individual up to uh, corporate and and of course we have yeah. the upper mm -hmm. higher end if you want to go go that way you know, we're always Please open do. to that <laughs> always open um, to that there is never going to be a limit to the amount in which you can sponsor the fireworks show um, so we're just excited so to do it so you'll take That's any great. any amount That's whatsoever anything. what else is going on down at the office there. Uh, we're gearing up for motorcycles, as you're yeah. aware. That's yeah. kind of our target market, has been for several years now. And, um, you know, one thing for your viewers, if I can emphasize it, mm -hmm. um, look twice before you pull out. Yeah. You bet. Um, it's amazing how many dollars are invested in our into our community 
from these motorcyclists coming to town. Oh, and, they love this area. Uh, you know, Monday through Friday, they're typically wearing a suit or a lab coat, and they're you know they yeah. they're riding around on sixty thousand dollar motorcycles. You know, decked out with all this fancy chrome, and and for every dollar that they spend in our community, that's one less dollar we need to. Uh, you know, we have to spend for our tax yeah. base. In, in well, uh, th uh, this area has had to reinvent itself. Mm -hmm. You know, dog patch is kind of no longer, and then you mm -hmm. have to try to, if, you, if you're going to be a destination, you got to reinvent yourself, and the motorcycles has, has come along and just to, mm -hmm. at the right time. It really time. has. It really has. And, and it goes with mm -hmm. the, the Ozarks and the outdoors appeal yeah. that we've mm -hmm. always had for a long time. Dog patch, you know, because of the outdoor beauty really was a, a good uh, purpose for its success. And then, you know, the Buffalo, Na Buffalo mm -hmm. National River, outdoor again. Uh, now we have these twisty roads, yeah. outdoor scenery. Sure. Um, during the fall, we have a big fall colors right. tour. Right. Um, so outdoors is our thing, and, yeah. and you have to be outdoors. And to the ride Buffalo River is still a great oh, destination place. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, Matt, thanks for coming by and tell us all about thanks the 4th of July. Uh, 4th of Always July, get out and enjoy the entire day. Um, uh, people like my, uh, Matt Bell are facilitating things to do in, in around uh, the area. So if you want more information, give him a call. More information is uh, listed for Matt Bell at the end of the show. Thank you so much for being here. Thank, Thank you for you. having me. All right. Pleasure. We're going to take a real quick break, and when we come back, we'll be talking with Red Millis and also Josh Rosenberg about a new business that they've started, and it's called International Pipeline Academy, and you can learn about this at your local college. We'll find out more about that in just two minutes. <laughs> 